social media okay so lately i've been using social media non-stop just on it updating my every single thought on instagram i actually got rid of my facebook because of this reason and somehow i'm back in the loop again i'm back at um constantly sharing my thoughts and opinions and feelings and you know debating uh with people and it's become more and more annoying as of lately because of the whole um police brutality thing that's going on um all the black lives matter posts that i see the the black boxes um you know people unfollowing you um blocking you uh without even trying to understand where you're coming from with social media you have such a small um amount of time to get a point across to someone and it feels like both sides whatever you're talking about both people are trying to do it quick fast and make a point to the point that they're not hearing you out that they don't you know understand where you're coming from they automatically assume that you're something that you may not be you know and it and it really it sucks it's not even fun anymore um I don't know, it's just, it feels like a drag. Um, and I'm just sick of wasting my life, wasting my time. You know, you meet so many people so quickly on social media and I feel like I meet a lot of great people too. Like, don't get me wrong, like I've met some of the most awesome miss awesomeness. <laughs> some of the best people on social media on on youtube on instagram whatever like i occasionally do find brilliant people on there but um sometimes it's just not enough you know like i mean <laughs> i feel like with me it's never going to be enough you know i'm always wanting more but it just <sighs> lately I've been um, going outside a lot and just sitting out there and wanting to just breathe the air and lay on the grass, like truly, like I've just been wanting to just spread out on the grass without looking like a weirdo to my neighbors. Like I feel like I, you know, look a little strange. Like I find myself sitting down, kind of like hiding behind um, one of the cars in the driveway. And sitting in the grass and just hiding there so people aren't just staring at me while they're walking by um but i've been really enjoying that just loving like just being present in a moment without being so wrapped up in my phone um that's when i feel the most at peace um and don't get me wrong a lot of this is my fault because i i guess i could say it's an addiction like i have a problem where i'll go ahead and pull out my phone you know I, I may use it to like check a text message or send out a call really quick but then all of a sudden i'm on instagram like how did i get there and i'm just scrolling through nonsense or i'm posting about something that's currently going on and don't get me wrong i think it's very important to be outspoken about things that are going on in our country today um with just all the misinformation like the real misinformation and you know just all the little brainwashed people walking around um they're everywhere um so i think it's good that we speak out about these things because not a lot of people are but it's coming to the point where i'm feeling like i'm saying so much but no one's really hearing me and there are some people i'm not saying everyone's like this but it, it just feels like it's taking more energy out of me and it's making me become this uh, bitter woman. It's making me become um, just wicked and unhappy. Uh, and that's not me. I don't want to be that type of person. Like, I don't want to be nasty. And I'm not trying to be nasty to people, but people are, you know, just saying the most 
disgusting things to me you know really pushing at my buttons and it makes me want to bark back and sometimes it does and i have to like delete a comment and they're like oh don't delete that comment you know like it's just oh, it's social media like <laughs> it's driving me crazy i really don't know why i use it so i don't know I, I, there's no really no real point to this video i'm just saying like maybe while all this chaos is going on Maybe it's time for me to um, just take a step back and really focus on myself and learn some new hobbies and maybe learn a language or something. Um, you know, just be more loving to the people around me and try to pull them out of this fake reality that we're living in today. Like, <laughs> it's disappointing. It is. And some days I feel defeated and some days I feel amazing by some of the people who support me online and that's cool and all, you know, but I want something more. I want something real. Um, I don't know if I can keep doing it any much longer and YouTube's uh, a lot better. I don't know. I kind of like YouTube. Uh, I mean, I don't like it because of where it's come, but I like the whole video thing. Like, I can just jump on YouTube whenever without people judging me, watching me, and I think that's cool. Um, but even, like, some of my favorite YouTubers, like, you know, the ones that make me laugh and stuff, they're starting to get a little political too, you know, because they feel... The pressure from people to be like you need to speak out black lives matter you know and it's just like wow like sometimes i just i don't want it in my face and then after i notice after these youtubers do this so when they speak out about something they take like this really long break all of a sudden you know like it, like it like as if it took something out of them just to make and post this video it's like if you don't want to if you feel like it's probably not a good idea to post that video just because other people are pushing you to do so then you just don't do it stop letting people like social media is so toxic you know the cancel culture they're toxic these people are everywhere and it's just driving me crazy <laughs> i just i want a relationship with god again you know like i want to get closer to him i have a hard time focusing lately and i, I don't like it you know, and then I have uh, personal friends that I went to school with, to high school with, that I considered very, like, dear to me. You know, and they will try to make me look bad in front of their followers. Like, they're trying to impress their followers because they're not happy with what I say or if I may disagree with something they're saying. But I'll do it in the most respectful way because I don't ever want to um, shame my friends. I don't want to make them feel bad bad for something that they don't understand but i want to let them know like maybe this is a better way to do this and they don't like it and i'm just like wow like why did i take my time out you asked me a question why would i take my time out to answer something for you i feel like i'm thinking of one person right now but why would i do that just for you to sit there and i don't know play me i don't <sighs> Social media, it's, just, it's not good for my mental health, and um, it's really sinking in. It is. Uh, it makes me want to actually, like, toss my phone out the window and never look back. Like, I don't even want to answer phone calls at this point. Like, my life has been flipped upside down in good and some bad ways. So, it's not completely negative because there is some positive that came out of this, but... The fact that I don't have control of my own life is just like, wow what is going on in America? What What is this life that I live in right now? And I think it's so inappropriate. I think people are inappropriate. I think people have lost themselves completely. And it's scary. Uh, but not as scary as social media. <laughs> anyway, I'm just ranting right now and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts today because I don't know, I can I guess I will see you guys next time. See ya.